I was really nervous, I must say, because for us, it's, it sounds odd, but for us, it's a very, very special moment. You always dream of that. You always think one day you might play New York, and then you say, okay, I will never make it, or uh, don't. And then suddenly you do. This came true now, it really came true, and, it's, and I'm still kind of full of that. It's my first proper English album, and first album ever released in America. I think the album has to have a, a character on its own. You can't just choose the hits or blah blahs. You have to find songs that actually go together well. It's like a little book in a way. An album has to be a, a book on its own. So we chose the songs really to that they match each other, that they create an atmosphere that might give you a spice of what I'm all about. And they're actually four songs that have never been released in German. So they're actually really written for this album brand new. Well, the funny thing is when I write a song, I write the music and sing in my very weird banana English, actually. We record the whole song with this banana English. And then in the very end, once the recording is done, then I write my German lyrics and put it on top. So actually the English language fits the songs much nicer, actually, than the German. The German language is pretty guttural. Very calm. That's nice as well, very percussive. Well, we met on uh, this uh, campaign, Make Poverty History. We became friends in a way, and we had nice nights out together, few, two or three. And then he came to the studio and was sitting there, actually listening to the album, and gave comments and really said, I really like it. And he said, Why don't you send me three songs and I would try something out? And his favorite song is called To the Sea on the album. So he said, I might hum something there, you know, I just hum something and then you, you use it or you throw it away, whatever. I said, wow, that's great. And then finally he sent the Mensch back, completely sung, the whole version, the whole song. And I said, wow, that's great. That's really fantastic. And, he said, and then I sung myself to it. So we made it like a duet. The moment you meet him in pr privately, actually, he's very, very humble, very decent, very there and, and, and very touching, very nice. Well, this is a, a show we recorded in Potsdam. I think a lovely show of all of, all of our songs on the album, and Bonos is starring there as well. I asked him, would you like me to introduce you? He said, no, don't do that. Let me just come on stage. And he came on stage and the people there were thinking, that's not right, is, is that him? I met George Clooney actually not in the movie, I met him on the G8 meeting in, in, in Edinburgh actually. And he's a lovely man, uh, well very briefly, yeah, very brief, but a very, very nice man. And that movie came uh, with, with Anton Corbijn again, and now I'm doing just starting actually next week with a new soundtrack on a movie called a Most Wanted Man with Philip Seymour Hoffman. And that's great because you don't have to have to write lyrics, you know, the movie is the lyrics, so you can just make instrumental music, and I, I like that. The nice thing is that a picture tells you immediately whether you're right or wrong. You know, you, you have an idea, you do something, you, you, you think it's fabulous, you come into the studio the next day, play it and think, oh no, it doesn't fit, it doesn't match. No. You have to be, it's a very delicate thing. <laughs> From my own label actually, there's a, there's, a, there's a girl band, two girls, they're called Boy. One girl plays bass and the other one plays guitar and they sing together. And it's very, very laid back, very folky, but beautiful songs and they're very nice on stage. They're actually just starting now uh, around America having a club tour. So that's, that's a band to watch out for. And uh, it's a German and a Swiss girl together. Mm -hmm.